be taking a look at yet another smart doll because as we've established, I cannot control myself. Before we get into the unboxing of this new girl and getting into why I got her and whatever and what she looks like, I thought I would show all my smart dolls together, a full collection video, just a real quick introduction to each one. They've all been seen in previous individual unboxing videos, but this is the first time I've kind of put them all in the same video. So here are all my smart dolls. I had seven until this new girl arrived today. I have four anime smart dolls and now I have four semi-real smart dolls. So let me go through them one at a time real quick. This is my first smart doll ever. This is Trinity in Milk. She is an anime doll. She's the one that started it all. They don't even make the milk skin tone anymore, so I'm definitely very grateful I got her when I could. I never got a milk semi-real smart doll. Did they have milk semi-real smart dolls? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I have two milk smart dolls and they are both anime. I kept Trinity's name as Trinity. I thought it was very fitting for her sculpt and the way her face is painted. I did change out her wig. This is not her original wig. There was a time when you could buy wigs from Smart Doll. It was a great and glorious time. Next, we have my Smart Doll that I named Alice. Alice is a anime Kazuna anniversary doll in milk. She was my second Smart Doll. This is not her original wig either, but she has always been blonde for me. Next is Poppy. She is an anime challenge doll in cinnamon skin tone. She's my first cinnamon girl. Cinnamon has since replaced milk. This is my first Coco girl. She is a prowess, anime prowess, and her name is Yara. And I have her, I've kind of always envisioned her as kind of an elf. So she's wearing the elf ears. And this obviously is not her original wig. It is a purple wig that I've opened in a previous video. In my mind, she's always been a fantasy doll, so that's how I have her dressed most of the time. Next, we have Ember. She was my first semi-real doll and my only tea doll. She is strength, semi-real strength in the tea skin tone. I think she's gorgeous. I love her freckles and her red hair. I've never changed out her wig. I think this hair is perfect for her. Next, we have my first smart doll on Evolve frame. Well, actually, I got two pair smart dolls at the same time, so, but I opened her first. She is the pair style semi real Deborah, or maybe Deborah, depending on how you pronounce it. I've named her Sage. She's in the skin tone Cinnamon, and she's gorgeous. I love her face so much, so pretty. I have changed her wig out a few times with somewhat disastrous results. If you've seen a previous video, I had some staining issues from the wig cap, which is very disappointing. And then we have Marvel, semi-real Marvel in Coco pear style. She is the most recent doll I have opened on this channel and I have named her Lavender. Again, gorgeous face. I like that her wig has some curl, very pretty. So, of course, the reason I bought yet another smart doll is because they released a new skin tone. And I had actually been eyeing this doll for a while in Coco, but I wanted to hold out to see if they released her in coffee. And she is actually one of the first dolls they did release in coffee. So I'm very excited. Let's get her out of this packaging. Here we go. Let's get her out of the bag. So we have the box and honestly, I don't even remember. Did I order something extra? I may not have. And then here is the doll. Oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. She's so pretty. She has like ambery brown eyes. A little bit of blushing on her cheeks. If you have never seen a smart doll before, smart dolls are highly articulated vinyl dolls that are handcrafted in Japan. They are made by Culture Japan, designed by Danny Chu. 
They are quite expensive. They are also quite tall. They're about 24 inches tall in a one third scale. They are not mass produced. They do come in a variety of skin tones, both fantasy skin tones and, you know, real world looking skin tones. And the articulation is made possible by what is now called the Evolve frame. This is a newer kind of skeletal base. It makes this clicking sound when you position the doll. So in the box should be her wig. Oh, I forgot. Since coffee is a brand new skin tone, if you won one right away, it automatically came, I think, in this bundle that included a slightly larger size, medium smooth bust. I believe that's why it came with this. Uh, and of course her like little clicky stand and the little card that tells you how to care for your smart doll. But let's get her wig on. So this is the black wig. You can see the front pieces are stitched under so that when you pull the hair back you don't see the wig cap if you pull it back at the front but if you pull it back in the side you will mm. this wig of course is very soft all of the smart doll wigs are so nice so here she is we have semi-real divergence in coffee again what a pretty face she did come with the straight haired wig as opposed to Divergence in Coco, comes with the curly haired wig that Prowess originally came with. Honestly, I might switch her to that wig. I think I'm gonna want her curly haired and not straight haired. And I have her in between my tea girl and a Coco girl, so you can see the difference in the skin tones. Obviously, Coco is deeper. But let's get our coffee girl into an outfit. And then I'll do a lineup so you can see the whole range, milk to cocoa, side by side. And I think I'm also going to change Lavender's outfit. I got a new package. I got a couple new packages, actually. I got a package of clothing from Elite Doll World that I ordered. And then I got this package from an Etsy seller I've never shopped at before. So we'll look at Elite Doll World first. Here's Elite Doll World's card. I got a top. nice little gray top. This is supposed to be for pear shape. This is what I'm most excited about. These were released pretty recently in the last month or so. We have some joggers. I love the striping. So we've got the striping on one side. It's, um, it's like a soft cottony material. There is some stretch to it. And then I got the hoodie that matches it. See the hood, we've got the striping down the arms. This is so cute. Again, this is for pear. Then for this Etsy seller, I got this. This is also pear, but you can just wear it loose on, on the original body type, but look how cute this is. And it's so soft. Look at these ears. I love the lining. Uh, the hood is not fully lined, but it's so soft on the inside. This is adorable. So cute. And then I got matching socks. I think for my new coffee girl, I am going to put the medium smooth bust on her. The only doll that I have changed the bust out for is one of my pear girls. I gave a larger bust size, but everybody else, all my original dolls are in the bus that they came with. Um, so I might as well switch this out just to see what it's like. And I think I'm gonna give her this outfit. This is very cute, but I have to say, coffee girl's wearing heels and Lavender is not wearing shoes at all, and it just makes it seem like Lavender is this girl's little sister or something. This is very adorable. 
I think it would be, for me personally, more suited if she had more of an anime face than the semi-real. But this is super adorable. It does make her look like a little kid. It's very short. It only comes to her mid-thigh. I decided to push them back a little bit further so you could get a better look at their outfits. I've now changed Lavender into that adorable, like, track suit from Elite Doll World that I love so much, and I also gave her a necklace. If you've seen my previous videos, then you know that all my smart dolls have either initial necklace or a monogram bracelet for their names. So Trinity's wearing a T. All my previous ones I have ordered from an Etsy seller, but for my newest girls, I decided to make them. So I went to my local craft store, picked up some charms, and some jump rings and a little bit of chain and made my own. I also made one for Sage and for my new girl. I've decided on her name and it starts with a W. Here's my new coffee girl. In a wig that originally came with my prowess smart doll. I mean, I love curly textured hair. Uh, it's hard for me to find curly textured wigs that I really love. I really like the curl type in this particular wig from smart doll. And again, this is the wig that comes with semi-real divergence in cocoa skin tone. Uh, for some reason, the coffee skin tone girl comes with the straight wig. So this is my version of divergence in coffee skin tone, and I have named her Winter. So here we have the Smart Doll lineup of skin tones all in a row. These are all the naturally occurring human skin tones that Smart Doll has ever released. I don't have any fantasy color dolls from Smart Doll. Like I don't have the blue or the gray. To recap, we have milk, cinnamon, tea, coffee, and cocoa. Considering the size of Smart Doll as a company, this is an impressive range for a doll line of this price point, of this caliber. I would be interested in seeing a shade released between tea and coffee. I know a lot of people want to see milk return. I find myself more and more drawn to the semi-real dolls versus the anime, but I do really love all of my smart dolls. But what do you think of the new coffee skin tone? Do you prefer pear style or original body type? Do you like the anime? Or are you more of a fan of the semi-real? Let me know by commenting down below.